walking in the house in my room, gotta make a pretty doll. She don't like when they cold, just left car cold. No care, lock. I was licking on booty in the whole lot of vagina. Eat a booze with some ice cream, she'll remember you. Ice cube, make it gym, shaving like the one they do. Do, see me with the crew, I bet get some food. I see you looking like a dude. Had to make a move, make a move. I just want to talk about the influence of my brother, the person who I personally know, my brother Big E Heflin, man, formerly known as Big E, calling rapper. I want to speak on how the homie Big E, right, is a pioneer, the pioneer of Bronx Drill, the pioneer of Bronx Drill. Now. I'm saying this because I was there when it started. I was there when it originally happened. Big E Hefner is to Bronx Drill what Bobby Schmurda is to Brooklyn Drill. And I say that to say this, okay? I was outside, fresh home, fresh home from serving my bed, 2010. I then began to get to personally know my boy Big E. This brother at the time was going the hardest as far as rappers in Cortland. Now I don't know, I don't know what goes on in the water in Cortland Ave. I don't know, you know, just Cortland Ave, Vietnam, my building the Browns. Historically speaking, streetwise, there's just always been a lot of influential shit going on. But when we focus on the fact that my brother Big E pioneered Bronx Drill, I'm going to explain to it like this. E was the first nigga I heard. Him, it was him, him, Pop, a couple other dudes, but he was the most known name. The one of the, of one of the first dudes who I ever heard officially diss a whole nother hood. It was E and... and and a couple other dudes, but he was the most known name for it. At one point, he was the most known rapper other than Oom P. We all know who Oom P is. If you don't know who Oom P is, you must have been living under 3,000 rocks your whole life. You know what I'm saying? But for an our age group, Big E was the most known rapper. Big E was the most known rapper, and he had the energy he had the energy that would later become what was the Bronx Drill movement. You know, like, uh, uh, as far as, you know, like, the lingo, the energy, the audacity to say certain things, you know? You know, repping one side, this and the other side, this K, that K. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows. We don't got to repeat it. And I just want to say that also... My brother was the first person to start the whole Free My Niggas movement, which correlates, correlates with Bronx Drill, Brooklyn Drill right now, because what do they do? They diss the ops and they say, Free My Niggas. That's what they do. If you from the Bronx and you about 30 years old or younger, right? You was around, you was around the start of last decade. Where Big E dropped the legendary song, Free All My Niggas. As far as I'm concerned, I never heard another, I never heard that saying on a record before. And I never heard that song before. That type of record before. As far as me being somebody from the streets and seeing it happen in real time. That record was very, very influential. And if you don't understand that, then you're just denying my son greatness. And I will not let you niggas do that. My boy was highly influential. Highly influential, man. My boy got a couple hood classics, man. Free all my niggas. It was you. In a Cortland minute, my boy got a couple. And mind you, I ain't even tell my boy that I was even gonna make this video. This is a spur of the moment video. Cause I was just thinking about it and I decided that this is what the fuck I wanna do. I, I love picking up my people. You're not gonna find another 
another black man period who got a platform with the ability to show as much love as I show the niggas. You're not going to see that because I genuinely have no hate in my blood. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just telling it how I see it. My boy was a pioneer of Bronx Drill as far as repping your set, repping the hood you come from, doing free my niggas songs, dissing the ops. Boy was doing all of that before the beats even came. Y'all know where the beats come from. The beats come from UK. Y'all know what was going on when Bobby Smurda was around. He had the energy, he had the drill energy that was inspired by Chicago, but he didn't have the sound to go with it. He had the sound to go with it. I'm telling you this right now, right? The lit rappers from the younger generation that's in Cortland right now, I am 100% sure that they know the words to free all my niggas. They know the words. They looked up that Big E was probably one of the people who inspired them to rap because they seen somebody from their neighborhood do it. So they were inspired to do it as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Shy UK. I'm talking about Be Love. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the rest of them. Big E Hefner. Big E Hefner is the pioneer of Bronx Drill. And I want to say it and get that on record. You know what I'm saying? Because Bronx Drill is going to be even bigger than it is right now. And I want this shit to be known. I want to give my brother credit where it's due. I haven't heard him declare this too much. He is aware of the fact that he dropped a couple hood classics. You know that, that even the ops. Even the Ops knew a song, they liked this song, they was trying to remix to it. Like I say, he was the first person I ever seen or heard. This the other side, this the Ops on the song and make a popular record out of it. Or be on freestyles on YouTube doing it. You can check the stats, you know what I'm saying? Back 10, 11 years ago, 12 years ago, 12 years ago, the niggas wasn't even knowing how to utilize YouTube. You feel me? What be loving them doing now would not be possible if my boy did not set the tone. It's, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is what it is. These are just facts. These are just facts. You had to been outside to know. You had to been outside to know. You feel me? Like um, and I want to end this by shouting out all the great rappers, all the other great rappers from Colin Ave that a lot of y'all might not know of. Whoever I'm missing, I'm sorry, but I'm going off the top of the head. Y'all know about B-Love. Y'all know about Shy K. Y'all know about Biggie Hefner. Y'all know about Oom P. But shout out to the brother Iron Sheik, too. He's from the generation before Oom P. Dead nice. Go look up the homie Iron Sheik. Shout out to AI, a.k.a. A1. You know what I'm saying? Go look bro up. Shout out to Bills. Naughty Bills. Naughty Bills. Naughty Bills and Big E Hefner. Basically like best friends. They used to always be around. You gonna see a clip with them two together in this video. I'm sure you've seen it by now. But he was he was there too. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's my boy. You know what I'm saying? These is literally my brothers. These are, these are stand-up gentlemen who I personally know. And I want to give them their flowers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The area where I come from in the Bronx is the most influential. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.